Hello people of the world, it is LEGO Mission X here, and today I'm back with a new custom LEGO Media Figure Series showing Billy and Tommy Maximoff from WandaVision Episode 6. As you can see, they're in their Halloween apparel costumes from that episode, the Halloween 2000 episode, and I made customs of them. So yeah, as you can see, I got uh, Tommy right there, right there, and Billy right there, Billy Maximoff. I already said that, so yeah, um, stick in the end so you can see upcoming customs and uh, other showcases and stuff like that. So yeah, anyways, let's just get right into the showcase with Tommy. So by the way, since this is my first WandaVision showcase, hopefully of many, um, I just want to express my thoughts on WandaVision as a show. It's an amazing show. I, I actually really like the first two episodes and three episodes, even though some people thought they were like, eh, because the whole sitcom thing. I actually really enjoyed the sitcom, uh, like, aura of it, and I also just enjoyed episode four a lot with the whole, like, um, like, outside world post-blip, um, like, uh, Monica Rambeau and Jimmy Woo and Darcy Lewis, um, like, aura of it and I, I really like the show with both aspects aspects of it and also like the mystery and the creepiness of some parts of it and just a really good show overall but episode six which is really like the epitome so far because we still have three episodes left epitome so far of the show and i'm just really enjoying it and i love that i love the aesthetic of the 2000s era and Quicksilver, Quicksilver, also make sure to stick on the end so you can see my Quicksilver custom, and yeah, and I really, and I really like just the costumes, and, and like, and, but also the outside, the outside world, like, outside the, uh, hex, like, stuff, and, oh, by the way, spoilers, I mean, it's, it's way past Monday, I was supposed to do this on Monday, I'm doing this on Wednesday, it's probably coming out tomorrow, but yeah, if, if you're clicking, if you're, if you're, by, if you're still here by now, you know, it's, it's a spoiler video, um, but yeah, it's, it's way past Monday, don't worry, the spoiler event's been lifted, so yeah, and, but basically, I, I'm just really enjoying the show, and I really do enjoy, uh, it's only been really for, like, an episode and Half, but these two actors playing Billy and Tommy, I don't remember their actor names, but they're, they're pretty cool. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not <laughs> really sure what they're, I remember, I remember, I remember looking it up, but yeah, I'll probably tag them on Instagram. <laughs> but yeah, but anyways, I made, I made customs of the twins from, uh, in their, in their Young Avengers mock costumes of Halloween. So enough, enough with the, the second intro, <laughs> let's just get right into this with Billy, no, Tommy, and, and you know it, yeah. So, uh, don't you forget it. So here we got, uh, Tommy Maximoff, as you can see. Oh, that's not so bad. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it more focused. I don't know. But basically, as you can see, the hairpiece, fully skull. Actually, no, that's not, that's not true at all. Um, uh, the hairpiece, um, compared to Billy, this custom was kind of, kind of much harder, um, to, to make. Um, the hairpiece was actually a Ron Weasley hairpiece from the Harry Potter, uh, the new, the new, uh, the Hagrid's Hut set, well, it's 2018, but the new line of Harry Potter sets also was Luke Skywalker's hair since, like, 2011 from A New Hope. So, yeah, but in orange, but I just basically sculpted the heck out of on top of that. And yeah, and sculpted. And I am aware that it does kind of look like Mickey Mouse ears in gray, or like mouse ears, or man bat. I don't know. That's his hairstyle. That's what he looks like. I tried to capture it the best I could, and I think it still did a pretty good job. I painted it in gray and kind of like um, didn't airbrush it, but like I, I kind of made it so that the uh, that has like a little fade of the darker gray because he actually does have like I don't actually remember what colors. I think it's dark brown hair in, in reality, but uh, you know, uh, Quicksilver, uh, their uncle. Okay. So, um, well, whoever Pietro is, he, uh, he spray painted his hair or whatever, dyed his hair. I don't know what he did. Um, but, uh, he made his hair gray to make him look like comic Quicksilver as well as him. So, yeah. People are saying, like, oh my god, he's, he's speed. Oh, oh, by the way, so these are Wiccan and Speed, or to be Wiccan and Speed, um, in the new event, or Young Avengers, whatever. That's how they are in the comments. I thought it was Wicket at first, the name Wicket, but that's actually just one of the Ewoks from, uh, Star Wars, uh, Episode six, so never mind. But it, it's it's a Wiccan, so that, that's who Billy is. But yeah, but Speed. I'm I'm imagining it's being named Speed. As Potato Man said, that's it's like naming Hulk strong. But yeah, anyways, he, he, can, he can speed around. He has super speed. So yeah, anyways, um, I made his hair. I made his hairstyle like with the, the the tips and stuff, and I made like the hair go back and all, and sculpted a bunch of it, and then uh, painted it in light gray and dark gray on the on, on like the little edges. So yeah. His headpiece is actually Ron Weasley's headpiece too from that set, but I uh, modified it a lot. And yeah, oh, but I just realized um, he had actually a buck tooth, but it probably got scratched off. And eh, eh, it's fine. But yeah, I just modified his, uh, his actually, I want to fix that. I want to fix that one time. Okay, I'm back. Like, other customizers, if they're in the middle of a showcase and realize something was missing or wrong, they would just go on and just be like, nah, nah, I'm not, I'm too lazy to fix that, but not, nah, not me. I'm, I'm a, I'm a true customizer, and legit just painted his buck tooth in the middle of the custom showcase. That's why I paint on my own. Sorry about that. I normally, I don't clean my hands, but all right, I did, but yeah. But anyways, there's his buck tooth to signify that he's like 10, and yeah, and he has like, he's, he has like his, his tooth, his big teeth are falling out, whatever, I don't know. But yeah, I didn't do that on, on Billy because um, I liked his facial expression as it was. But yeah, that, that's the Ron Weasley head. Um, yeah, and uh, my my my, my hand, fingers all dirty now. One time. Okay, I washed my fingers, so now you don't have to look at black paint on my finger. But yeah. Anyways, 
So, um, yeah, the head is just Ron Weasley, and actually the hairpiece is Ron Weasley, too, from that Hagrid Tut set, but I've uh, sculpted a bunch and painted in gray. Then his torso is actually, I think that was a police officer torso or something, that I scratched off all the printing and then and sanded down, and then the lightning bolt. If you're wondering how I made the lightning bolt, why well, I did not use duct tape. Probably would have been easier because, you know, it's duct tape. Or actually, maybe it might have been hard to cut. I don't know. I like the little details. But I, because I can actually show that you just used duct tape. Or <laughs> Pietro used, Pietro used duct tape to make the uniform or the, the costume. But no, I used aluminum foil to make that and then cut it up. So yeah. Sorry, every time I focus it or try to focus it, the, the brightness goes down because I'm using the brightness level measure thing. So sorry about that. But yeah, I just cut it, uh, cut it out of tin foil or not tin foil, aluminum foil. Yeah. Aluminum. Aluminum. Yeah, I cut out aluminum foil and then made the design. It was pretty hard. I did it like four times to get it right. And then, yeah, but um, and I'm, I'm going to do it on Pietro. I, I should just say Quicksilver from X-Men movies, Evan Peters, Pietro. I don't know. <laughs> Every time I refer to him, I say Pietro because uh, he's not. Anyways, um, um, I, I got that. It, it kind of looks messy from this angle, but uh, from that lighting. But I, I still think the, the lightning bolt looks pretty cool. I like how it looks in the silver and stuff and the, the jagged edges. Uh, so, yeah. The arms are just light blue arms. I didn't do the back. I don't, I don't think he has a lightning bolt on the back. I'm not sure. I think it's just duct tape. But, yeah. The uh, arms are just blue, are, are the same light blue color arms, but I painted on the black sleeves, the white, col the white, like, the cuffs are like the it was like an undershirt so yeah he, and it went down to his hand so i painted that onto his hands with white paint and then i outlined the uh the sleeves in blue the short sleeves out uh, over shirt in blue as you can see i also extended the blue undershirt onto the uh the, the hip piece and then speaking of the hip piece these are sh these are not short legs these are not long legs or not normal legs they're not short legs they're mid legs yeah so i sacrificed a pair of mid legs not sacrificed but i used them and then um i don't know who they're from i think uh, well, yeah, these were light blue, actually, so I think this is from the Harry Potter set, too. This, that's a really useful set for this, for this custom biggest, but yeah. And I and I basically painted the, uh, I sanded down the actual, the, uh, what's it called, the, the top of the legs after I disconnected from the hip piece, and then, like, so, so when, so then when I painted them in black with the paint, ah, painted them in dark blue with the paintbrush, they wouldn't chip or anything when I, uh, moved the legs up and down for the thing. Then I painted the boots, or the, the shoes in white, and then outlined everything in black, because black outlines make stuff look better, in my opinion. So, yeah, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it for Speed, Tommy Maximoff, the, uh, the other one, the, the one that, like, likes to, like, to go really fast and has, like, hair like that yeah well, let's move on to wiccan or um what the, whatever his name is billy yeah that guy here we got billy maximoff you know like vision said he's 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 named after william shakespeare oh something something oh the many people plays i don't remember the quote or i was like all oh, the world's his stage uh, uh many plays something like that i don't remember the quote but yeah here we got billy maximoff the headpiece again from the harry potter haggard's hut set it's actually just a harry potter uh face i just scratched off the uh the glasses and then repainted the eyebrows and the mouth a bit so yeah but i think it actually does work for like the, the like the little kid uh like um uh, face and i think that works well painted on the eyebrows in black paint think so yeah this is actually a much simpler custom so i'll probably go by this much faster and yeah then i gave him a red cape from superman from the um newest cmf i mean it could have just been from any of superman but from the dc cmf i just gave him the red cape um i remember mini superheroes today was actually using a um uh what they call it a uh short thor a mighty mercos cape but i don't have that and i want to cut this one up so he's long cape i think it actually works a little bit better because it goes down all, this, all the way to his legs and yeah then he just has black uh mid legs that are kind of kind of scuffed up because i think i had Painted them. I was going to use them for Dipper from Gravity Falls, but then I'm just using short legs. I haven't even finished that custom. I need to, I need to finish that custom. So, yeah. And, um, but they kind of scuffed up. And then the back is, again, Harry Potter. That's his, that's his torso from the Hagrid's Hut set from 2018. 2018? I think so. I don't know. But, yeah. And so, yeah. that's uh, I used a lot of Harry Potter pieces in, in, this, in this custom drag race. He has, uh, oh, as I forgot to say, he has light nougat flush hands and, and then white... Um, Painted white on the on the wrists and stuff, and then here he just has one black hand, one light nougat flesh hand, as you can see, and then his head is actually just this brown. The Superman or the hairpiece is actually just this Superman, uh, twenty sixteen Superman hairpiece in light brown, not dark brown, and like uh, red, red, blah, 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 dark reddish brown. I know what reddish. Yeah, I think just I think just light reddish brown, something like that, and yeah, and then his bandana is just a piece of e-tape that i taped on or I, I did not even glue it on i just taped it on i, I just use i just use a little adhesive on the back and then have the have the the, band, the little bandana but it can, it can come off so yeah i probably should be careful with that i don't want, I don't want it to come off here. yeah there you go and then painted that in blue actually we really like the blue color that came off of that it's the same one i used for uh 
um, Billy's, uh, shorts or something. He had, like, shorts over his, like, his, like, pants or something. I don't know, it was weird. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, but, uh, I, I like how, I like how the headband, uh, why do I keep saying bandana? Sorry about that. The headband workout headband thing, um, looks on him. And also his, uh, accessory, uh, Billy didn't have an accessory. I keep saying Billy, eh, and don't you forget it. Um, this is Tommy, this is Billy. Billy had the, 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 uh, the jack-o'-lantern that I, that from, like, that series, whatever, Halloween series, uh, I think it was from the CMF, Collectible Minifigure Series. Actually, I was, I was like, okay, I think that would be the perfect piece. I need it for our accessory. Went around my room, looked around, couldn't find it in a few boxes, and then went to this drawer. I was like, I'm never going to find it. Normally, when I try to find a piece that I need for a showcase or a minifigure, it takes, like, hours to find it. I don't know. But then I just found him, like, immediately, and I found the black handlebar right next to it. It was separated, but I was like, oh, yeah, finally. Or not finally, but, like, that, that was... It was nice that I could find the, the jack-o'-lantern piece very easily. So yeah, anyways, I haven't already been showcasing this stuff for like almost 11 minutes. Sorry about that. But let's just, let's just wrap up the showcase with the packaging and the final what, um, and with, uh, with the upcoming customs and the end of the showcase. Let's just, let's just wrap up the showcase. Yeah. Okay, and that was my custom Logan Minifigure Showcase for Billy and Tommy Maximoff from One Division Episode 6. One of my favorite episodes. I didn't, I didn't actually fully say it in the beginning, but that, this is my favorite episode so far. One Division. It's been a great show. It's, it brings so much new things to the MCU. Pretty wacky. Pretty great. Pretty pretty disturbing at times. But it's just a really good show. I really enjoy it. And I cannot wait for Episode 7, which comes out. One that comes out probably tomorrow, but uh, in two days for me. So yeah. Anyways, as I promised, we got One Division Customs and others. Um, upcoming Whips. Coming up, uh, I'm still making one division episode one fifties, fifties one and fifties vision. I'm probably gonna make like fifties one and fifty vision, or, or like episode one Wanda, episode one vision, and then remake my uh, Wanda, well, Wanda and Vision customs from from Infinity War slash Endgame. So uh, then I'll, I'll uh, and then I'll pro I actually want to do something cool where I like uh, or uh, what I think is cool. Where instead of, I, I I removed the sculpt of Vision from my from my Infinity War custom because it was trash, but I want I want to try to do something where I put a magnet in his head and then I can and uh, like a mini magnet in his head and then I can uh, remove it and then and then I can have and then I can have like the stone being removed like Thanos. I don't know that'd just be a little cool touch I think I could do just a little little, little details that you get you get because you stick to the end of the showcase. Good on you for sticking to the end of the showcase. You're epic. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Well, actually, no, I got more customs. Oh, sorry, almost forgot. Quicksilver or uh, Quicksilver Pietro. Or, um, MP, or, no, whoever he is, Mephisto, someone, uh, we don't know yet, and that's not a spoiler, because I, I don't even know for sure, but, uh, here is Pietro Maximoff, in quotes, um, of, uh, for, from Quicksilver, uh, Evan Peters from the X-Men movies, I'm not done with him, I just don't need to do his, like, his, like, white, like, big socks, and I need to redo his lightning bolt, and do the black outlines on the arms, but I, I did finish his, uh, his hairpiece, I, I might, like, paint a little bit uh, more, but I'm pretty proud of how the sculpted hairpiece turned out, it's fully sculpted. One. And then I got the idea from a uh, mini superheroes today the, uh, of using the Bruce Banner here. Uh, yeah, and that's just the back looks not mess well, looks really messy right now, but you know it's supposed to look at the back. So yeah, um, uh, the the hair pieces head pieces just the Bruce Banner head piece from Infinity War and Thor Ragnarok. So yeah, but you'll see that soon. So make sure to stick around for that showcase and other one division showcase and other custom minifigure showcase. Speaking of the custom minifigure showcase, here we got here we got that little guy. He's, he's secret secret. Also, I literally just made the gamut Pierce custom practically because I wanted to. Speaking of X Men. There you go. I don't know. I just wanted to do that. And here's my Colossus custom from a little while ago. That's like it's mostly purist, semi purist custom. And yeah. Anyways, and, and so, you want to see more customs? Sure, why not? Here's Mayfeld from the Mandalorian. Here's a. Uh, um, well, I just needed to finish his boots, but then. Or uh, more whips. Uh, here's Homelander from The Boys, season two. And yeah. Anyways, thank you, everybody. So much watching. It's been Lego Machine X with my custom Lego Minifigure Showcase. As you can see, this is the twins in their iconic pose from like five days ago. It's very iconic, of course, because it was like a few, few days ago. <laughs> yeah, um, you see a long Google image of like Billy Tommy WandaVision. But um, it's which when Billy uses powers, Wiccan uses mind magic powers to stop speed from breaking the speed limit, and then Vision just casually dying in the background by being ripped to shreds because the Hex Magic is trying to pull him back and he's trying to escape. You know, you know, you know the, the huge. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Um, turn notifications so you can be notified for having videos and live streams. Like this video, like this video. Comment down below what WandaVision episode, uh, actually no, no, actually no, uh, you can you can tell me your favorite episode so far, but uh, tell me down below what other WandaVision custom are you looking forward to seeing in Lego form by me, customs, winning figure, showcase stuff, and yeah, also shout out to American Joker and Farewell and Stud by Stud for guessing who the customs were, Bar uh, the first three, or American Joker really, the first person to guess who it was when I just said it, would, it was mid-legs and two customs, um, um, in my community post, so make sure to go check out my community post in my YouTube thing, so yeah, I got 1000k, 1000k, whoa, I didn't have a million, no, I have a, uh, 
or hundred that uh, what yeah i i have a, i have a hunt i have a 1000 1k subscribers on youtube so thank you for that i'm still making my 1k special it's coming it's eventually it's gonna be a stop motion so yeah anyways um so make sure to go check out my community tab because i do polls there and interact with my subscribers even more join my discord server if you want to interact even more with me like me check subreddit you know the drill it's all there it's in the description down below with the links so yeah everybody anyways everybody thank you so much for watching also, uh, uh, follow my Shinex, like I said, I'm going to take us on, on Instagram if you want to you see upcoming customs and stuff. But really, just subscribe, like the video, turn on notifications, and comment down below. Those are the main four, the, the four horsemen of the, uh, the YouTube. Yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Like my Shinex, out. And, bye.